<laughs> Robin. A program aims to cure sex offenders with smells. Mm. This is a very unique program. With smells. Yes. Sex offenders. Now, does this cover all sex offenders, like uh, rapists or just like a child uh, offender? I don't know. I'm sick today. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, so are they. (laughs) Yeah, apparently. (laughs) Don't ask such such tough questions on a sick day. I didn't even listen to this stuff today. Are you kidding me? I'm going through the motions. (laughs) I'm dying. I have to get back to bed. I'm dying over here. Right. I don't know. <laughs> Just break down and start crying in the middle of the show. Don't make me do a little scream therapy today. No. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out together. How's that? Usually, All right. Usually I know the answer to your question. like but that. How about this? No more questions today. Search it out <laughs> together. No more questions. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> Oh, God, he's coughing now. <laughs> oh, that's good. A laugh turns into a cough. One of those <laughs> wheezing coughs. No, my throat is so effing dry. And Tom's coming in here. He's being uh, he's being a good guy. Brought me some tea with lemon. He brought me some of these uh, these halls. Cam- he brought you chamomile tea. Yeah. 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 Why don't you bring you some coldies? That's what helps. I, yeah. I, I, am, I did some emergency... I just need something that just soothes the tr- the throat so I can sleep today. That's yeah, all. I can offer you something. You might not like it. Uh, <laughs> keep your HIV to yourself. <laughs> yeah, you won't be worrying about your sore throat. <laughs> Bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Very excited, though, because I'm going to lose all that uh, weight I gained over the holidays. Yeah. You don't I'm look in, like you gained any, actually. I'm in sick mode right now, so I'll, I'll, I'll probably drop five or six in the next week. Via the toilet. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, I'm keeping everything down. Although the uh, the uh, you know what's were just horrendous. Oh God! I decided you. I decided I needed some vegetarian chili after the show yesterday. Didn't work out for you. Whoa! Yeah. And then one of those uh, cutie things. A tofuti. No, you didn't have a tofuti cutie. John, who's like uh, like just have ice cream for the love of God. John, who's like a man's man. He 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 runs the building I live in. I saw him at the supermarket with his wife. Yeah. And uh picked up some tofuti cuties. <laughs> they were picking up some Opie, you need some cuties? <laughs> tofuti cuties. This guy yeah. this guy will lean out from the fortieth floor to to fix a window pane. But man, his dessert choices are a little yeah. lame. After I do that I like coming in and having a little tofuti cutie. So well, let me tell you something though. <sighs> Between the uh vegetarian chili, three bean <laughs> Oh, oh. And then the tofuti cutie. Wow. <laughs> Just a mess. <laughs> wow. You open up the lid, it looks like the beginning of Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, was, it was, uh, uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Oh, no. Okay, no, good. decided to hang out for a while for whatever reason. Hmm. Hey, why don't we uh, play audio from this program? Yeah, I want to find out what this is all about. All right. Thanks, this- Jim. This seems like a, what happened? I don't know. I just heard Jim making some noises from a certain area that wasn't his mouth. Could I have that Lysol, uh, Danny? It's right there. It's my by stuff you. he knows. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. And Jim's blinking a this lot. This is for my unstuffy nose. And my I'm just going to spray eyes, a little it's, Lysol. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, a tickle Where in the back of my head. That Where? sinus drip tickle. No, that tickle was probably your sphincter. <laughs> no, that was my that was my um my body gets very tense when I'm when I'm yeah. drippy. Where's, oh. We're the worst, man. We just had like, I don't know, almost two weeks off. We could have, we had plenty of time to be sick during our time off. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, different kinds of offenders. Uh, okay, listen to this. Some people believe sex offenders cannot be changed. Some experts say not true. They say they're doing it right here in the Portland area. Well, that's right. It's right there in Portland. They've they're finally deciding to do something. Right in Portland. Good for them. Logging and and curing sex offenders. <laughs> <laughs> what a great area of the country. 
treated right here in the Portland area. Well, that's right. It's not the same treatment for every sex offender. The psychiatrist and the social worker behind this program in Portland say they divide things up between two different kinds. The predatory sex offender who is out looking to grab kids and what they call the situational, someone who might have done a one-time molestation in, say, a home setting, which is considered to be less severe. Aww. And they say it's this second group, this less severe group, Aww. that responds very well to their kind of treatment. The manipulative... Uh why doesn't the first group guy home that setting. would home setting? What the hell does that even mean? Some creepy neighbor or something that right, right. That trusts him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. They should cure him with a bullet right to his forehead. <laughs> the smell of cordite. <laughs> <Right>. Boom! <laughs> right. That's it. It's over. By the way, someone is definitely uh, lingering a little bit longer today. <laughs> he uh, he writes. Uh, Did the flu lady from Juno make Hopi sick? Damn her. Oh, I guess uh, ducking down in my seat as she was sneezing behind me didn't uh, didn't work. Didn't prevent me from getting it. How many days is it? By the way, I don't think the CDC recommends just ducking. Yeah, to get out of the way of somebody. Well, I, I I I played like bank robber too though. I don't think that works either. Bank robber and and. Do you ever uh, see healthcare going, workers and going doing low that? in my seat? <laughs> that should have worked. Contagions. That's you ever see them just pull their shirt over their nose? You know why they don't do that? Why? Because it doesn't work. <laughs> it makes uh, y you feel like it might, though. Yeah, that's all that matters. How how long does it take if someone sneezes behind you at a movie? A sneeze travels at well over a hundred and eighty miles an hour. Thank you, Anthony. So I don't think you could um, cover up in time. In time, yeah. But does the sneeze itself make you sick? I would think so. Sure. Why? A lot of germs why? coming out of why? your nose. Why? Because you got uh, all those uh, uh, viral germs. Really? Those little viruses shooting out of the nose. Oh, Jesus, don't sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> just scared myself. <laughs> Jimmy, for the rest of the show, just, just make believe you're going to sneeze and look at it. Oh, it's not that hard. I can feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> Isn't it easy to make oh, it I look gotta... like you're going to sneeze? But to actually do an authentic Watch. acting sneeze is hard. Watch. Tell me if this makes you paranoid. But you can go... Tell me if this makes you paranoid. Hold on, hold on. And then that's all you get. <laughs> <laughs> what a tool. How's this? I put my finger up and I go, ah! Chew! <laughs> <laughs> I look around like everyone's scared. Bravo. That's very, that's very good coming from me. Yes, of course. All right, here we go. Let's find out more about the sex offender program here. Mm. Spend an hour in this chair, alone, in this room, and you'll feel sick, afraid, ashamed. That's just what the doctors want. It will be an well. Anthony show. <laughs> <laughs> A guest. <laughs> yeah, that'll make the intro to the show, huh? <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, let me hear that again. That does sound like an intro for this show. Do we have, like, Opie and Anthony? I'll, I'll do Opie and Anthony, guy. Spend an hour in this chair, alone, in this room, and you'll feel sick, afraid, ashamed. The Opie and Anthony <laughs> Show. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> Spend an hour in this chair, alone, in this room, and you'll feel sick, afraid, ashamed. That's just what the doctors want. It worked very well. My arousal... Uh, has gone down oh, very much. Oh, very much with Ew. you, creep. Here, smell this. <laughs> Here, um, I think this one might do it. Okay, look at this picture. Are you aroused? Yes. Now smell this. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. I want you to take a whiff of this. Now, this is more of a subtle smell. But look at this picture. Yes, it's of a, a high school cheerleading team. And what are you feeling? All right, smell this. <laughs> All right, there's two gone. Okay, one more, one more. Um, okay, here, open up this uh, little yearbook. Now look, yeah, you see that. Okay, it is the drill team, right? Now you're you're feeling. What are you feeling? Yeah, arousal. Okay, here. Uh, is this it's a very faint scent. <laughs> oh, what a creep that guy was. <laughs> feeling arousal. My arousal. <laughs> My arousal. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, has gone down uh, very much. Very much. Very much with that. John was molested by his uncle and went on to molest his girlfriend's grandchildren. Ah, the circle of life. There it is. The circle <laughs> of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we a bunch of ghouls? The circle of life. Why don't we talk about that circle of life, huh? I, I touched you, Simba. <laughs> and, uh, you will go on to touch. <laughs> ah, there yes. it is. All right, I, get that queued up. We're going to replay <laughs> it. Grandchildren and grandparents are standing in a circle like a bunch of elephants <laughs> with <their> trunks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are suggesting I drink that airborne stuff. I don't know if that works. No, it's, uh, emergency is better. I don't even know if the creators know if it works. <laughs> <laughs> They've sold a lot. They sure have. <laughs> the crying king. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. What's that, Danny? All right, E-Rock, you ready? <laughs> me and you, me and you, working together. Here we go. My uh, arousal uh, has gone down uh, very much. Arousal dazzle. John was molested by his uncle and went on to molest his girlfriend's grandchildren. <laughs> Yes, yes, certainly is. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> you use your tongue prettier than a twenty dollar whore. Ah, the circle of life, yes. Yeah. This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Is that supposed to be sexy? All right. <laughs> it's in the hole! <laughs> Good old circle of life. Yeah. Yeah. Very much with that. John was molested by his uncle hmm. and went on to molest his girlfriend's grandchildren. Ow. He went to prison for more than eight years. Now he's out and working to stay out. The individual showed quite a significant rise in the penile trace. Offenders like him put on this gauge, like a lie detector for their genitals, <laughs> showing how much images <laughs> It's <of> lying. <laughs> a lie detector. Come on now. If it's false, a light uh, lights up, and if it's true, you have to wipe the floor off. <laughs> I'm thinking more Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so you can picture what this thing does. Oh, look, a commercial for the Lion King <laughs> on television. What a kawinky dink. Uh, yeah, you can picture how this thing works. Sure. Ooh. It kind of looked like a, a circular ring. Sure. And it looked like it was hooked up to a, a seismograph. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it would measure certain things. Wouldn't that be intimidating enough where if you were shown something that you weren't supposed to be aroused by that you're kind of thinking that? I, I guess not know. for these guys. Dan? <laughs> no? Why, why are you asking Oh, that? it's the opposite effect. It's got, well, Than was coming over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I like uh, giving him a little preface like, Than. He's walking up to the mic, Than. Wait, so what happens after you got this thing on? Well, I they think show they, you pictures, and then what happens? If you get... <laughs> well, I guess that gauges... Get a reaction it that probably gets gauges yeah. what we like to call the twitch. <laughs> 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 you know? But do they zap you? <laughs> no! no oh, oh, they're, using, they're using smells. They're using smell. Oh, we're not to the smell part yet? No. Oh. Penile trace. Offenders like him put on this gauge, like a lie detector for their genitals, showing how much images of children arouse them and how to stop it. Women oh, must just hate us. Like, this reporter having to do this is probably like, this is disgusting. We have to put a ring around men so they could uh, gauge how aroused they are. And then they show them, like, some pictures that you would get arrested for. These guys are getting, like, a free, yeah. a free ticket. Free show. Free show. Uh, it's probably not that graphic. I bet it's probably like really frolicking subtle. pictures. Yeah, pictures of frolicking. Frolicking. Why these guys are just creeps. 
Eight years. Well, he should still. You molest. Of course, he should. Grandchildren. He should be. Uh, he's currently in jail, having his teeth kicked in. That's where he should <laughs> die. <laughs> Once you molest grandchildren, you should never get out. There should be one smell therapy he's getting. Yes. And it's that awful scent of when someone's done. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Or it's, it smells like uh, like like that that hair product <laughs> that certain uh, ethnic groups will use <laughs> as your face is in their pillow. <laughs> Well, we're gonna... uh, well uh, this is just in. The gauge is just a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear more? Of course. All we right. can't stop now. He sees his arousal as it's beginning, and he can learn to identify oh. the physiological changes, the feelings psycho that go babble. along with very low Smart. levels. Absolutely. Psycho. Babble. Psycho. Babble. Did this guy need something hooked up to him, and people need Probably. something hooked up to him so they could judge and gauge if this guy's being turned. If this guy even needs this, there's a problem. There's a problem. They have the okay. highest recidivism rate. Uh, they always reoffend. Yeah. Uh, they just that you cannot rehabilitate kid touchers. That's not. You know what? You can't gouge their eyes out. No, because they don't. So the, then they cannot see. Everyone, they can still like hold out candy and go. Anybody hungry? And someone will show up. <laughs> they just shouldn't get out of jail. Um, people are trying to figure out what the um, what the smell is in the smell therapy. <laughs> Let's go to Jared. Jared. Jerry. Hello. How you doing, guys? Hey, uh, how about Iraq's breath? That's <laughs> don't turn anybody. Oh no, that's oh. even even though these guys are awful people, uh, you know there is a line. Yeah. Cruel and unusual punishment is not allowed in this <laughs> country, sir. I love that they'll never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Iraq, that's very hurtful. Is that teasing like that? I don't go for that. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Microphone. Let's go to Jeff in Chicago. <laughs> Jeff in Chicago, who used to listen to us on WCKG. Uh, what's up, Jeff? Hey, man, uh, that ring device that used to like, it shows like a seismograph, that's the same thing that uh, Brett Michaels used on Rock of Love when... Uh, yeah, they hooked uh, Brett Michaels up to this thing. Oh, to yeah. see if he was getting uh, yeah, and then any he had, kind of... And then he had the girls like doing mm. phone sex. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. All right, so it's that, I guess you're right, I guess it's that device, so. All right, let's uh, find out more here. He sees his arousal as it's beginning, and he can learn to identify the physiological changes, the feelings that go along with very low levels of arousal and intervene there. Intervene with a sudden fright. Stop! With cayenne pepper in their mouths, with the smell. What was that? Tablespoon full of cinnamon. <laughs> well, what was the stop? Yeah, they you say stop. stop. Why? In the name of inappropriate love. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been just a soundbite for the... Uh, huh? it, it, I think it was just a soundbite for the piece. Oh. In there. Intervene with a sudden fright. Stop! With cayenne pepper in their mouths. With the smell of liquid roadkill so foul, some offenders become ill. An association now of revulsion, fear, anxiety, wow. aversion. This is Clockwork Orange. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. a Clockwork Orange uh, where they, they, what a genius Anthony Burgess was to write this. They held him up. If you haven't seen Clockwork, they opened his eyes and they gave him a, an experimental drug, the uh, Ludovico treatment. Yes. And uh, they made him watch videos of violence and rape and the drug affected him uh, adversely. Mm -hmm. So in real life, when confronted with sex or violence, <laughs> he would want to puke. Yeah. That's exactly what this is. That's what they're trying to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're trying to make it so that when he does see something inappropriate that uh, arouses him, yep. he will then link that with the roadkill and um, the cayenne pepper and uh, not be aroused. Will hmm. not work. I don't think so, unless you take every child in his neighborhood and hang a dead albatross around his <laughs> neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got the parents hanging roadkill yeah. from their kids as they go off to school. How about this? If you don't know, like, if you can't control yourself from molesting a kid, I don't understand how, Funny. like, the taste of pepper is going to stop you. It's not going to stop you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> exactly. I always wonder what one of these would taste like with a little pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to John in Staten Island. Staten Island is uh, it's a weird place in the New York area that uh, we don't know much about. Yes. <laughs> really? What is this? <laughs> Staten Island. I think like they, land of the lost? <laughs> I think yes. they do science experiments over there. Oh. Something's going on with Staten Island. I, I drive through it every once in a while, and uh, it's Not very me. quickly. It seems like the sun never Just shines. One highway 
ass oh, it's island. Awful. It just, uh, the sun doesn't shine on Staten Island. No. Uh, watch. Go drive there today. You'll see. Nothing but clouds. Not really shining much anywhere today. I know. That's why I picked today to do that <sighs> bit. Good idea. Uh, John, what's up? You know, all of this sounds just like the crap they did in the 50s with all the people that were gay. You know, electroshock therapy, this, that. It doesn't work. How'd that work out? <laughs> well, for me, it didn't work too well. But uh, I don't know about when it. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> <laughs> did they really do that back in the day? Yeah, you know how they had to do that. Wow. We must try to cure the homosexual with smell therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Although the worse the smell, the more gay they got. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, thank you. Let's say uh, hi to Scott in Boston listening on BCN. What's up, Scott? What's up, fellas? Hey, Good morning. Good hey, morning. Uh, this lady sounds like the uh, perv whisperer. You ever seen that dog whisperer show? Shh, <laughs> Yeah, she's like uh, treating them like the like the dogs. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. Sounds just like the pervert. Like the dogs they are. Yeah. All right, Scott. Sick. Come ill. An association now of revulsion, fear, anxiety, aversion, so that the deviant stories and the deviant thoughts and the images of children are of aggression become a turn off rather than a turn. You, you know, ex ex excuse me. Too, and can carry their own bottles of rotting meat to help out when they're not at the clinic. Oh, my God. <laughs> rotting meat. I need to smell rotting meat. I'm by a school. Shouldn't the aversion... <laughs> you're driving by... I know you're trying... Since the visual, you're driving by the school, you're starting yeah. to get that urge. No. Oh, you're trying to get the lid of the jar you're off. Open up your glove compartment, trying to find your rotting meat vial. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't the aversion and anxiety uh, have come from the eight years you spent in prison? Yes. Shouldn't that be enough... To make you think, hey, I shouldn't be doing this. Mm. Uh, it, it, last time I did, I spent eight years in prison. Is, is this Portland, Oregon? Yeah. It, it figures. Very, very open-minded, very liberal, free-form yeah, kind of. Yeah. That's where you go for um, uh, animal sex, too, by the way. Portland, Oregon? I think so, right? Isn't uh, it Oregon? Well, yeah, it's Washington, Washington, Washington. Washington. Pacific enough. Northwest. People love having sex with animals in the Pacific Northwest. I think, can I say that? I think, at, I, think I, can. I think at this point, uh, psychology shouldn't be offered as a major in, in college. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Portland. Just figures. Yeah. Oh. What? I don't know. Fans coming very close today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, missed it? No, it, it is funny. They get confused and pitch a tent every time they drive by a landfill. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh <laughs> let's go to jason in carolina jason hey guys i hey. uh, love you love the show yeah hey uh one of the movies we're showing these guys is two kids one sippy cup <laughs> oh wow <laughs> funny very good bro. Nice. Uh, a lot of boston calls today what's up with that go pats go what's up Ooh. paul hey paul uh, nelson the opponent funded that test Linger oh. longer. Yeah, do we have that old Paul Ooh. R. Nelson commercial where he uh, accuses? Uh, no, was he the? Is he being accused or was no, he, he accused? Was no, he was accusing. That's right, because Paul R. Nelson was the upstanding citizen. He was accusing the other guy of the Eskimo stuff. And yeah, yeah, uh, paying for all kinds of uh, yeah, uh, sexual testing. It's worth playing. Before we go to break here. He even pay wanted to pay for electrodes. Yeah, Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Why don't we uh, talk to uh, John here? John says treatment videos help a lot as well. This is, the, creep, this is the creepy guy with the this voice. This is the creepy guy. Oh, oh. I've been waiting for you, child molester. Staying out of prison is strong. What was that? That was a clip from one of these videos that they make them watch as part of therapy. It's just some guy in like a jail cell. He's like mopping, and he goes, Hey, I've been waiting for you, child molester. Child molester. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. How does this work? It doesn't. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It doesn't, because the guy goes to beat you up, and you're like, I saw your movie, and then he likes you. <laughs> yeah, you I'm are great. Fan. Hey, you're famous. I really <laughs> felt the fear. I've been waiting for you, child molester. Staying out of prison is strong motivation for oh. John, who describes real prison much like this treatment video he had to watch again and again. Uh -oh. I know a dozen guys in here just cut your throat as soon as look at you. While I was in prison, I was attacked by a group of people 
who didn't like sex offenders. Yeah. Oh, damn them. This needs to be spiced up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Hold on, please. A little spice, a some little, cayenne pepper, a little cayenne perhaps pepper. liquid roadkill. <laughs> yes, <laughs> a little vial of dead meat. I'm scared of you. Rotting meat. Of course, okay. dead meat would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Was silly of me to even suggest that. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, child molester. Staying out of prison is strong motivation for John, who describes real prison much like this treatment video he had to watch again and again. I know a dozen guys in here just cut your throat as soon as they look at you. Why was it prison? attacked by a group of people who didn't like sex offenders? Okay, I've seen them use screwdrivers, ice picks, and a few handmade guns. I have a steel eye socket, a steel cheekbone, screws on my face. I'll be waiting. My opinion on going back to jail is very much, it isn't going to happen, no matter what I have to do. He ah. and other sex offenders get extra intervention through these videos, alternating a fantasy story with horrifying images like castration surgery, and a victim splashing a sex offender's face with acid. Now Clock John is through with yeah. his treatment. He believes he's reached a new stage in his life where he is healthy and happy. I've cured me, brother. And paying taxes, but like an addict, always ready to watch for the need to intervene. If you're not honest with yourself deep inside, then you can't make any changes. Once you're molesting kids, you will always be yeah. a kid toucher. That's yeah. it. There's no... uh Walking away from that. He's it's doing proof. It's been proven. He's doing less time than guys who committed armed robbery. Where all of us could say go to a bank and rob it. Th yeah. Those guys get more time than the guy who molests his girlfriend's grandchildren. Yeah. How is that? Hmm. Well, there you go. I don't know. Seems a little weird. It Seems will work. Like that's, you think that's working at all? Yeah, until somebody who they, who they do it on murders a kid. There'll be some something like right. that, and then they'll yep. just scrap the whole stupid, progressive idea of uh, of rehabilitating these animals. All, all that said to me, especially that creepy guy when he said, you know, I won't go back to prison. I'll do whatever it takes. That doesn't mean sniffing roadkill. That means killing the child so, <laughs> so they won't say anything. Right, exactly. That's the first thing that popped into my mind when that uh, that creep said that. You know who I feel sorry for? Um, let the, me think. The, <sighs> the, 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 the Iraq. No. No? Never. Uh, the roadkill on the side of the road. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, Being they, just <laughs> sniffed upon by some haven't they suffered aroused a, child Haven't they suffered enough? Creep. <laughs> they just wanted to cross yeah. the highway. <laughs> <sighs> oh, much better now. <laughs> Could you direct me to a dead squirrel, please? I'm feeling aroused. Yeah. I'm, I have an ache. <laughs> <laughs> I have, yes, my sensor is going off. I need some rotting meat. I'm fresh out. Wouldn't you just not shower ever? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get that, too? Do you have to get a prescription? <laughs> Isn't that they a dead giveaway? That Rite Aid? You're a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> pick up two vials of rotting meat. Oh, one of those. <laughs> Keep the kids away. <laughs> They're online at Dwayne Reed just whistling along to the music. Yeah. I phoned in a prescription <laughs> last night for the rotting meat. <laughs> right. Do you have that? The guy in the back is trying to shove a squirrel into a, a pill bottle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's, just uh, doesn't work. Th this reminds us of an old clip for the people that linger longer. An anti-Ron Kind commercial yep. by Paul R. Nelson. We, Our favorite candidate. We were backing Paul R. Nelson, who, by the way, didn't have a chance in hell of winning. Uh, yeah, our own fans wearing Paul R. Nelson's shirt today. What that. a coinky dinky. Paul R. Again. Sam. Sorry. Oh, no. What? That was a dumb joke anyway. Damn it. All right. Here. <laughs> We're running late. <laughs> but you stopped. <laughs> We're running late, but Paul R. Nelson, this is uh, how he was fighting his campaign. Ten years ago, liberal lawyer Ron Kind was elected to Congress, and he's done almost nothing in the Congress since. And that's a good thing, because just about everything he's tried to do has been wrong. Ron Kine voted to take the words under God out of the Pledge of Allegiance. He voted to strip the Ten Commandments from our public buildings. Ron Kine repeatedly voted for gay marriage and to force the Boy Scouts to accept homosexual leaders. He even voted to let illegal aliens burn the American flag. 
For Congress, Ron Kind is the wrong kind. The right kind of congressman is ah, Paul R. Nelson. Better music. This former Marine is a father of four who supports Wisconsin values. Paul R. Nelson will work to stop illegal immigration, to end our dependence on foreign oil, to win the war on terror, and to defend traditional marriage. I'm Paul R. Nelson, and I approve of this message. <laughs> I'm Paul R. Nelson. I forgot about that one. I'm Paul R. Nelson. He is fantastic, too. I love the, the music. It's like T2. <laughs> yeah, we, Come with me if you want to live. We miss Paul R. Nelson. Here's the one about the sex stuff. With our servicemen and women facing death every day, what kind of congressman would try to gut military spending? The wrong kind. Ron kind. That's right. Congressman Ron kind is repeatedly voted to deprive our troops of the funding they need to fight for us. But Ron kind has no trouble spending your money. He would just rather spend it on sex. That's right. Instead of spending money on cancer research, Ron kind voted to spend your money to study the sex lives of Vietnamese prostitutes. Instead of spending money to study heart disease, Ron kind spent your money to study the masturbation habits of old men. Ron <laughs> Kine spent your tax dollars to study something called the bisexual, transgendered, and two-spirited Aleutian Eskimos, whoever they are. Ron Kine even spent your tax dollars to pay teenage girls to watch pornographic movies with probes connected to their genitalia. <laughs> Ron Kine pays for sex, but not for soldiers. If Ron Kine had better priorities, you wouldn't be having to hear this. Ron Kine is out of touch, and soon he'll be out of Congress. I'm Paul R. Nelson, and I approve of this message. <laughs> and meanwhile, Ron Kind won That's <laughs> by right. a landslide. We still get our sex studies. Yeah. Thank God. Paul Nelson got nine votes. <laughs> right? I'm Paul R. Nelson. We talked to Paul R. Nelson. He loved us. Yeah. He loved what we were doing for him, but it didn't help. It didn't help at all. Of course not, because no one's buying into the fact that, <laughs> that a guy would rather... A guy's doing this, <laughs> like, instead of giving money <laughs> to the truth, truth, like, <laughs> anybody would do that. Like, anyone that wants to succeed in politics would do that. And I like that, how he said in the other ad, that he, uh, he voted... To let uh, illegal immigrants burn the American flag. Right. It's like, you don't quite vote for that. <laughs> no. You vote for the freedom to allow expression of burning the American flag. It's a very controversial subject, but you you don't vote, I want illegal immigrants to be able to burn that flag. Where do I sign? <laughs> yeah. Get me the 20 pens that I need to sign this bill. <laughs> I'm Paul R. Nelson, and I paid for this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Paul. Paul R. Nelson's a douche. I can't wait till those uh those spots start up again. Oh no kidding. All I right. Love the election mudslinging.